Okay, so in this video I will talk about the apps I use on my iPad Air 4, my iPad Air from 2020. And the iPad is my main computer, my main device nowadays. I even use it instead of my iPhone most of the times. The only reason why I still have an iPhone actually is because I need it to be connected to my Apple Watch and I also need it to tethering the internet hotspot from my iPhone to this iPad because this iPad is on a Wi-Fi version and not a cellular version of the iPad. So the apps I use mostly on this iPad is for managing my YouTube channel and also my website and so on and doing some work heavy work sometimes and so on and as you may know i have deleted all social networks i don't use social networks anymore so i don't have that to always check and so on so i don't have any social network apps on this ipad whatsoever and i think that's a, a, a pure pleasure to not have any social networks anymore because now i can concentrate to my youtube channel and my blog for most of my time and i can also do all things i love to do on my spare time for example watching movies tv shows and reading books and so on so i can highly recommend everyone to delete all social networks you have because you don't need them trust me i know that you don't need them so that's one of the best things i did 2020 the year 2020 i deleted all social networks so let's start by checking out which apps i use the most actually and as you can see down here in the dock i of course use safari a lot and as you can see here, I use Safari for a lot of stuff that I can otherwise don't do on the iPhone. For example, doing some settings and so on on my server, my FreeNAS server that I have installed on a very, very old Windows PC that I use as a server now with the FreeNAS software installed, the FreeNAS operating system instead. So I can manage that server from this iPad and that's pretty cool you can do a lot of stuff directly from the ipad you don't need to have a computer so safari is one of my most used apps of course and as you can see here you have also of course the youtube app it's uh, very important for me because i'm a youtuber of course but i have actually stopped uh, Google from tracking my uh, watch history and usage of YouTube. So instead of that, I actually use InnoReader. InnoReader is an RSS reader app. So I have a lot of feeds that I go through to find news and so on. But one pretty cool thing with it is that I also have my YouTube subscription synced to InnoReader. So I get all my stuff that I subscribe to on YouTube directly in InnoReader. And that way it means that I don't need to be logged in to YouTube if I don't want to. So I don't need to be tracked by YouTube so they don't need to see what I watch and so on. So that's pretty nifty. So I use InnoReader for a lot of stuff. I have uh, all the feeds and so on it's an excellent search engine you can search reddit and so on you can read reddit directly in in reader for example you can uh, read tweets and so on directly in in reader instead of having a twitter account you don't need to have a reddit account you can read reddit news and reddit subreddits and so on directly in in reader instead so you have that and youtube subscription and you have twitter feeds twitter tweets and so on you can follow people on twitter without having a twitter account so that's why i think innoreader is an excellent app that i pay for i have a subscription for innoreader so i really love this app so InReader has replaced a lot of my social networks i had before for example reddit and twitter so now i use that directly into InnoReader instead. So InnoReader, once again, is one of my most important apps. And I also have a journaling app called Day One. That's that app. I won't start that app because uh, journaling is uh, quite private and so on. So I don't want you to see what I'm writing in my journal and so on. So, But I have that app and I use that a lot. I always 
journaling i every day i do some journaling i add photos i add uh, voice recordings i add texts and so on directly from my apple watch for example i can do that directly from my apple watch directly into my journal for example i really love that so uh, day one is one of my most used apps of course and the same thing with uh, iMessages I use that a lot all my family my friends and so on uses iMessage so I have that to uh, have contact with my friends and family and so on so if you want to contact me iMessage is uh, a good way doing that and drafts is one of my most used apps too it's awesome to have actually and I have done some um, getting things done actually in this so I have an actions next actions and someday maybe and so on in all this so drafts is more than a note taking app for me because i use it for gtd and so on so drafts is also an app that i actually pay for i have a subscription for drafts so and i really love drafts i can highly recommend that app because you can use it for note taking you can use it for blogging in markdown and so on you can write a blog post directly in drafts and use Markdown when writing that. And then you can export that uh, article in Markdown code or in HTML immediately. So you can paste the HTML code into your blog, for example. That's uh, awesome. So I highly recommend drafts and you can do a lot of uh, different uh, commands here. You can add a lot of actions. If you have a subscription, you can add uh, your own and edit actions and so on. Works great. Another app I use from time to time. Uh, I actually deleted a good task for a while ago. But um, now I have started using good task again. And the reason for why I have started using good task again is because they now have... A really cool feature and that is uh, boards one of the things i like with boards like trello is that you can have different tasks in different uh, lists in different boards like this and drag and drop between them and so on so the latest version of uh, good task has support for having a board view for all your tasks and i really love that so so good task have all your reminders from the upper reminders added to good task automatically you don't need to use upper reminders but you can add reminders through siri or your apple watch and so on and they get into good task and you can use good task for as your to-do list manager or your gtd app or anything else it's awesome actually i can highly recommend using good task so good task is one of my most used apps actually and i love that you have your calendar and so on directly into good tasks you have both tasks you have calendar and you have uh, them in a board mode or in a normal to-do list mode so that's great to have and i'm also a heavy user of email uh, that email is one of the my most important way to contact people and uh, having news sent to me directly into the inbox and so on so i use apple's normal emailing app i think that's good enough that app for me i, I like that app so that is the apps i have in my dock other apps i use a lot is for example media apps like this i use uh, books i don't read so many books anymore on the ipad or the iphone anymore because eye strain and uh, the eyes get tired a lot on reading on these kinds of devices these kinds of displays so i have an e-reader now kobo e-reader for reading books so I read more on that than on iPad and iPhone nowadays. And uh, other apps you can see is media apps. I have Prologue for audiobooks. And this Prologue audiobook app has my audiobooks on my Plex server indexed in this app. And I can listen to audiobooks in Prologue and they stream from my Plex server. And my Plex server is on my Freena server that I showed you in Safari. So... I have a Plex server running in FreeNAS and my FreeNAS server can stream them audiobooks to my Prologue app. 
I bought that app and it's an amazing app for audiobooks. I really love Prologue. And also a Plex amp for listening to music from a Plex server. And I have Plex Dash to do some settings and so on in from a Plex server. And of course the normal Plex app as you can see there. And the Plex app, uh, that is mainly for TV shows and movies and so on. So that is also running from a Freena server. And I have some other uh, news apps and uh, YouTube Music is one of uh, my most used apps actually because I have a YouTube Premium subscription. So I also get YouTube Music for free when I have a YouTube Premium service. So I don't need to have Spotify or any Apple Music subscriptions. I have YouTube Music for free when I have a YouTube Premium subscription. And that is what I use for music. And I have some uh, TV streaming apps and so on. I have podcast apps and I have uh, some uh, information about movies. EMDB for example or Watched. The Watched app has uh, the stuff I am watching and so on. And I can see a calendar when next episode is released and so on so the watched up i think it's great to see what comes next to watch and so on i really love that app i have sonos because i have a lot of sonos speakers at my home and uh, i still have google photos available there but but uh, i won't have google photos anymore this summer because then it will cost money to have photos on google photos but the reason why i have google photos is because some of my family has google photos and we share some albums there but mainly I use Apple's own photos app, of course. I do, I have a iCloud subscription for all my photos and so on. So I use photos a lot. Apple's own app is better than Google Photos to me, but I need to use Google Photos for a while still. So that is what I use for media. And then I have some settings apps, as you can see here. I have a well-being from Electrolux. That is to do some settings and see stats and so on for my air cleaner, my air purifier. I have an air purifier from Electrolux that I use that app for. Sadly, that app is for iPhone and not iPad. I, don't, I didn't think you could see these kinds of apps anymore. That is not optimized for the iPad, but this app isn't and I don't like that as you can see here. So... This is my air purifier and as you can see here at the moment uh, my air is at zero so the, the quality of the air in-house is now zero so it's great but as you could see here it was uh, quite bad a while ago so you can see some stats and so on in this app. But as I said, sadly, it's an iPhone app, so I think that's terrible. But that is what it is. And I have a Bitwarden app. I have a Bitwarden account for all my passwords and so on. I really love Bitwarden. I can highly recommend that for a password manager. And it's free. You can pay money for that, but the free version is good enough for me. And as you can see, I have a really great file browser Go this file browser Go is an, the best file manager app for iOS. It's so great. You can do anything with, with this file manager app. And it works on both iPhone and iPad. And you can move files between your server at home. You can move files between iCloud and your iPad and so on. You can sync your files with your server, for example, automatically. You can sync your photos automatically to a server. So you don't need to have them in iCloud and so on. So File Browser Go is one of my most important apps. It's so, so useful. And as you can see, I also have a Philips U app to handle and manage all my lamps, my smart lamps, smart bulbs from Philips. I have a lot of bulbs. I think I have, uh, I can't remember, but uh, around 16 or 18 Philips U lamps now. And uh, we have some other stuff here that I don't want to go into. I have a Mercedes Me app for my Mercedes, so I can see uh, about my car and so on. And I have YouTube Studio there to 
see stats and so on from my YouTube channel. I don't use that so much on the iPad because I use that in Safari web browser instead. Because on an iPad you can have the real desktop uh, experience on the web. So I use that uh, directly on my YouTube channel in Safari instead. And I have more apps <laughs> that I use a lot. LumaFusion for video editing, for example. It's the best app for video editing on an iPad. It's awesome, actually. It's, it's incredibly good, actually. So LumaFusion is one of my most used apps, of course, on the iPad. I can't be a YouTuber without this app because this is awesome. And this is actually a 4K video that I have edited. And as you can see, it's so smooth to edit 4K on an iPad Air 4. It works so, so great. So LumaFusion is one of my most important apps. And uh, not so more, many more apps here that I use a lot. Over, of course, I use Over a lot because I use Over to create my thumbnails for my YouTube videos. For example, the latest one I did here. So I do thumbnails in over for my YouTube videos and it works awesomely good. I really like over. I can highly recommend the app over. It works great to do simple um, image editing and so on. And uh, what's more here that I use not so much more in this app. Uh, not so many apps that I use a lot more than LumaFusion and over those two apps I use a lot. And here we have some bank and money apps and so on, hotel booking and uh, ordering food and so on. So that's uh, stuff I need to have to be able to handle money and so on. And we have uh, MISC, the MISC app to have some apps that I use sometimes, but not so much. I have the Brave web browser and I have Firefox browser. And that is mainly because I want to see how, for example, my web page looks in different web browsers. So I have them to see how they look in Safari, of course, because that's my main web browser. And these browsers to see the difference when I do some changes on my website. So that's about it. So I have a MISC folder, I have a creativity folder, I have a money folder, and I have a tools folder, and I have a media folder. And I also have these apps directly in the dock that I use a lot. So this is the apps I use most on my iPad Air 4. And as you can see, I have some um, widgets here. I have the good task widget for the task I should do and calendar and so on. And I have my drafts inbox and I have in reader widget and so on. So I have a lot of widgets down here too on the iPad Air 4 that I use a lot. And of course, I can't be without the magic keyboard from Apple. I always use this with my iPad Air 4. Uh, I almost never remove the tablet, the iPad, from this case anymore. More than when I'm doing these videos with my iPad. Then I remove it from the Magic Keyboard. But this combination is now my main computer. The Magic Keyboard together with my iPad Air 4. This is my main computer now. And my main device. I almost never use the iPhone because I have this now. Okay. Bye.